if you believe or think that you've accomplished transformation, that you've arrived, you most certainly have not arrived. How do you know you've accomplished a transformation and, and uh, you know, what, what's the best example you could provide of a transformed company? I, I was asked uh, once that question uh, because, you know, our consulting is in transformation. Um, I was asked this question by an HR executive. How would we know that we've transformed? And, um, and, I, and I was a little bit stumped by the question. Uh, at the time, but I think I came up with a really nice answer. <laughs> I got out of it, and here, here was my answer. Um, if you believe or think that you've accomplished transformation, that you've arrived, you most certainly have not arrived. You most certainly have arrived at the wrong place. If you have this illusion that, oh, okay, we transformed now, because inherent in the word transform is it is an it is a, a non-starting, non-ending process. You know, it is you, you will not accomplish, you will see markers. Um, and the Bradley curve is a is, is a is a marker process that you can classify and see, okay, we've we've shifted generally from this paradigm to that paradigm. Uh, but like all, you know, in 10, 20 years' time from now. There's going to be a new uh, paradigm in front of the Bradley curve or the Hudson model or whatever. We're starting to work on that kind of thinking. What would be the next level of marker um, to, to, uh, to, to, to identify that? So you won't know uh, really in those uh, quantitative terms. You'll know in a qualitative way. But if you look at the, the overall shift in um, in, in, in injury rates, I mean, in safety, what do we measure? We measure accidents, you know, it's a, uh, it is a stock trade kind of thing. But my, my question about that is always, um, is there a real connection, a real connection between, especially in modern days, between the incidents we have and the actual risks in our organization? Uh, and uh, Malcolm used the, the, the sentence there in the beginning, which is, I think, extremely important. You have to start with your risks, no matter what you do. You, this is the primary focus in safety. It's not about safety, it's about risks. And uh, more I, the more I engage in this, uh, in this field, uh, the more I think that what we see in terms of risk uh, never, will never show in stats. And, and, and I think I've mentioned to you, Scott, before that I've spent two years on the road with a, with a big uh, a UK company, mining company around the world, and visited 42 sites that they have and on this program called Elimination of Fatalities. And, um, and what we've seen on the ground in a company that was and is extremely safe in terms of its metrics, its leading organization, Yet we've seen this swamp of risks hanging around in the organization that uh, just needs coincidence uh, for it to become a fatal accident. And that was an enormous learning for, for me and for the organization to, you know, we, 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 we are very deep in our organization. There's almost another layer of performance of risk, if I can call it that, or dynamics of risk that we don't quite understand. We, you know, if we have an accident, say, uh, every four years, uh, we have a, a look at our rates, you know, and, oh, this, four years ago, we were there, now we were here. Is that, is that indicative of where we were and where we are now? 